Today we are going to be setting up the search function in MPG and we will be working with this project that I have here called Wines. So this is the template section of the project and the first thing you want to do is ensure that you have both of these options checked and that is exclude templates from crawlers and site loops as well as participate in the search. So let's scroll down to view a few URLs. I'm going to click on see all URLs. Here we have a list of MPG pages. Let's take a look at one of them. Okay, so this page here says Cody's sales stats. And remember, we are accessing this page directly using its URL. Now let's go back to our homepage and let's see what happens when we search for Cody. So I'm just gonna type Cody and press enter. We have no results. Let's see what happens if we search for something else like wine. So now we have at least one search result. And the reason why our MPG page was not shown is because WordPress only looks for physical pages, but we are going to work around this today. First, right click on your search page, then click on inspect. Okay, so I'm going to click on this icon to select an element and let's click on this area. So right now we are trying to get the structure of our search page and keep in mind that your page structure may be different depending on the theme that you are using. So today I'm using Neve and if you're also using Neve, then you should have a similar structure. The next step is to locate a class called posts wrapper. So you can just hover over the elements on the left until you find it. Here it is posts wrapper. And this is basically the div that contains our search results. Now we need to find the structure of one of these search results. So I'm going to click on the first element in this div. This is the post on the left called best Spanish wines. It has a title, author link, and the excerpt. Now to find the structure, go back to the inspect window, right click on article ID and edit as HTML. So we are going to be copying this code. I'm going to select and copy the entire block. Now let's go back to our project in WordPress and click out of this. Let's go to search settings and now we can paste our code in this field. So this is the HTML code for a single result. Now we need to replace the text with the short codes provided below this field. So for example, we are going to be replacing this title, which says best Spanish wines with this MPG page title short code. But before we do this, we are going to sort this code because right now it looks messy. So now we can go ahead and select and copy this HTML code one more time, but this should still be my clipboard, but I'm going to copy it anyway. Um, let's go to the first tab and I will leave this link in the description. This is JSON formatter. It's supposed to make your HTML code look pretty. So I'm going to click on make pretty. So now we have our pretty HTML code and this looks a lot easier to understand. Let's scroll to the bottom of this page to add two more lines. Okay. And now we can go back to our search settings. Let's copy all of these short codes, let's highlight and copy, and let's go back to our pretty HTML and let's paste this at the bottom. Okay. We won't have to be going back and forth to copy short codes. Let's scroll all the way to the top. Let's take a look at the div with the class envy hyphen post thumbnail wrap. We're not going to need this. So highlight and delete the entire div. Now we can begin working on the other elements. Here we have our post URL. We are going to replace this with the MPG URL shortcode. So let's scroll down to highlight this, copy it. Now we can scroll back up and highlight every character between these quotes from here all the way to here. Let's replace this URL with our shortcode. Just make sure it's between these two quotes. Now we need to replace the title, which is best Spanish wines. So let's scroll down to find the title shortcode is the first one on the list. So let's highlight and copy it. Let's scroll all the way back up to the title. And now we can replace this best Spanish wines text with our shortcode. Okay. That's perfect. Let's start working on the author. We are going to replace this author URL. So let's scroll down to find the appropriate shortcode. Let's go ahead and copy the MPG page author URL shortcode. And now I'm going to scroll back up to replace it. So let's first highlight this URL and now we can paste the shortcode. Just make sure it's between the two quotes. Okay. Here we have posts by and the author. So we need to replace the author text with the short code. Let's scroll down to find the one that says MPG page author nickname. Okay. And now we can scroll back up to replace it. Let's find the author text. It's right here. And now we are going to highlight and replace this text with the short code. Okay. And let's do the same for this one as well. Highlight and let's replace it with the short code. Okay. Now we can start working on this excerpt. We need to replace all of the text between the P and A tag. So all of this needs to go. So now I'm going to scroll down to find the appropriate shortcode and that's MPG page excerpt. So first I'm going to copy it, 
And now I'm going to highlight everything that needs to be replaced. And now I can paste the short code. We have dealt with the first part of the excerpt. So let's replace the page URL. Um, let's just copy it first. And now we can go ahead and highlight the URL and then paste the short code. Okay. Now we need to replace the page title one more time. So let's get the appropriate short code, highlight it, copy. And now we can replace best Spanish wines with the short code. Let me just remove this last S. Okay. And we are done. Now we can go ahead and remove all of these short codes. Let's just delete this. So now we can go ahead and highlight and copy the code. Let's go back to our search settings. And now we can replace the original code with the formatted one. We can just give this a quick glance to make sure everything looks okay. So I'm just going to scroll back up to make sure everything is how it should be. All right, now we can scroll down to continue our configuration. Let's add the search results block selector. Let's go back to our search results page. And remember this div with the class posts wrapper. This is our post block selector. So let's go back to our search settings. And now since it's a class, we need to type a dot in the beginning, then posts hyphen wrapper. Oops. Let's remove this equal sign and type in a hyphen. So it's dot posts hyphen wrapper. And this class should be similar for most themes. Let's scroll down to increase the excerpt length. And we can also increase the max results count. Okay. And once we're done, we can go ahead and click on update. And finally, we can see our success notification. Now I'm going to go back to perform this search one more time. Let's go back to our homepage and let's click on the search icon to search for Cody. Unfortunately, we still have no results. And that is because our posts container was not rendered. Let's see what happens if we create a new post with Cody as a keyword. So we are going to do this in a new tab. Let's go to the new tab and let's type in Cody. And in the body, I'm going to type this is a test. Now we can click on the publish button twice. And now we can go ahead and refresh the search page. So now we have our test page as well as our MPG generated page. And the reason why the MPG page result was not rendered before is because most themes, including Neve, will not render the main container if there are no physical results found. So this post with the keyword Cody allowed the container to be rendered. And that is what made it possible for our MPG result to be rendered as well. So to fix this, we would need to create a child theme and modify the search.php file to always render the container that we are using as a selector. Let's go back to our search settings page. I'm going to be using a plugin called theme editor that you can find in the WordPress repository. You can use any other plugin that lets you edit your theme, but I'm going to leave a link to this one in the description. So since I already have a child theme installed, this is what I'm editing right now. So you should go ahead and create one as well. Also, I'm going to leave a link to this documentation in the description. You can find a download link for the Neve child theme right here. I'm also going to leave this link in the description. So this is the code that we need to place in our search.php file. Let's highlight everything and copy it. And now we can go back to our theme editor. Let's click on create on the right hand side. And I'm going to create a new file called search.php. Let's click on create new file. Okay. So that was successful. Let's refresh. And now we can find it on the right. Let's open it and let's paste the code that we copied. All right. Now let's click on update at the bottom update file. Here's our success notification. We can go back to search, but let's first delete our test post. I'm going to click on trash under Cody. Okay. Now we can go back to search, go home and let's try searching for Cody. Just type in Cody in the search box, press enter. And now we can see our MPG generated page. And remember, we no longer have a physical post with any of these keywords. So that means our code worked. So now we can try searching for another page. Let's try Moku. I'm going to click on search. Let's type Moku and press enter. And here is our MPG generated page. Let's try one more. I'm going to type in Michael in the search box and press enter. Okay. And we have our result. So now you know how to configure the search settings in MPG. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video.